Good evening, world. This is Ivan O'Mara. I decided to make a video. It is 7 o'clock in the evening. Hope you guys enjoyed my video I made a couple days ago. The, my neighbor was supposed to do my hair, but because it's Thanksgiving in Canada, I decided to do it next Sunday. So next Sunday, this Sunday coming up, or next Sunday, right? I'll be doing my hair. My hair has grown. It should be longer now. Is it Thanksgiving in the States or it's just Canada? Let me check. I know you guys in the States, you have Thanksgiving like like a month after us, right? Is it Thanksgiving? Well, tomorrow's Thanksgiving actually in Canada. In the U.S. today. Yeah, you guys in the states, you have Thanksgiving in the uh, in November next month. Was us up here in Canada? We our Thanksgiving is tomorrow. So all you guys in Canada, happy Thanksgiving! I hope you guys enjoy Thanksgiving. I have my Thanksgiving food. What do you have? I have stuffing. I have turkey. I have yams with gravy, and I have chili, beef. Yeah, my stepmother made the food. Mm, it's good food. Yeah, so apparently Warner Bros. is doing Matrix 5. So if they do Matrix 5, then I will not be doing the Matrix, obviously. That's too bad. I have an idea for an amazing story, but if Warner Bros. does Matrix 5, it's not going to happen. They're not going to agree to lead two movies, no way. They're not going to agree to delete it. As I most likely will just do the greatest game of calories, but we'll see what happens. Major Spies might get cancelled, it might go into development hell. Because just because Hollywood announces this movie doesn't necessarily mean they're going to make it. You have to, it's, it's like, it's, it has to be officially greenlit. Like, Blade with uh, Hersha Ali was announced, I think, in 2019. And it went into development hell, and they still haven't made an announcement of the movie coming out. So if Major Spies doesn't come out, I might consider doing The Matrix, or I'll just do the greatest game of calories, I don't know. I might have you guys vote. Would you rather see a Matrix 4 movie? Or The Grey Escape? You can vote. If somebody tells you all the fans are going to choose The Matrix, obviously. Yeah, I want to see Ivan as the one kicking ass. Yeah. Obviously. So... We'll see what happens, but I'm gonna be honest here. I'm most likely I'm doing the Great Escape. Just because it's my IP, right? One of those owns the major brand, so I have to purchase the secret rights off Warner Bros. I have to purchase the rights. They might say, no, I don't want to sell the major's. We don't want to give you the matrix right now. The 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 original matrix brand you guys have all the rights for that. I just get the secret rights. The secret rights is all mine. For the merch game and the movies. For the matrix, obviously. I'm gonna put Unreal Engine Five technology into the game. Remember that Matrix Awakens demo I showed you? Yeah, I'm, I'll show you it again. Maybe right. We have a game like that. Look at um. The Matrix game I'll make for maybe five hundred million dollars. And Robert will be very hyped to play that game. Oh my god, Ivan. I can't wait to play that Matrix game, yeah. You see me in the game, Mike me Jordan, my zero another in the game. You hide from agents, something fucking cool. Car chases with agents chasing you. But yeah, sick, sick game.
That's if I do the mage. It's not guaranteed. I'm most likely gonna have doing the great escape with Keanu Reeves. Most likely. I'm just being honest. The, the Great Escape is my brand. So it's easier. My sister I'm going to tell me, I want to do that major Jolzy, but I, I don't want to do make, have To do the Matrix, I have to have all these. I have to, I have to call Warner Bros. and have all these meetings and talks. Yeah. I have to meet with the studio execs. And the board of Warner Bros. And I have to purchase the rights. Do the sequels off. Yeah, my deal is two billion dollars for the for the sequel rights for the Matrix. If I use the Matrix, I'm gonna pay Warner Bros. two billion dollars in their American money. I'll pay you two billion dollars in your American money, guys. I have not we're gonna get a stock deal. I'm like, no, you're not getting a stock deal. You're not getting a piece of my money. You're not worth it. Because yeah. I know they know if they get a stock deal, they're gonna get hundreds of millions, the billions, and the the, the company will make hundreds of millions of billions of dollars, man. That's why I'm not going to do that. No, it's a it's a cash deal. Two billion dollars for the rights of the Matrix sequels, not your Matrix uh, three movies that you made. I don't I don't want to own your own Matrix brand. It's just too much work for my team. I just own the sequel rights, but you guys maintain the rights to your Matrix movie. So if you guys want to sell more merch, make more games based off the three the first three movies, you're more than welcome to do that. But the sequels, I own the rights to that. The games for the three movies, and uh, the 4K Blu-ray movie, and the merch, I own the rights to that. But you guys own the rights to the um, to, 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 to the original brand. I don't want to own the whole thing, it's just too much work for my team. My team can't handle, it's too much work. I own the sequel rights, that's the deal, if I do the Matrix. Some Sarah. My idea is Michael B. Jordan is a grandson of Naomi and Morpheus. And I'll have Brie Larson and John Krasinski, they're a couple in the movie. And Ben Affleck is the leader, leader of, of the Never Knezzer. And Michael B. Jordan is second in command, like Trinity was second in command in the original Matrix trilogy. Who are the main characters, Ivan? Me, my son, other, and Michael B. Jordan are the three leads. And then, like, Ben Affleck and all of them are supporting characters. Yeah. That's why I told you, Brie Larson and Ben Affleck, John Lennon, and Paul Bettany and all of them are praying on you to make sure because they want, they want to be safe for, like, 10 years of their life. 10 years. If I do the, the three major movies, that's, like, 10 years. Each movie will take two, two and a half. It's a two, each movie is, like, a two and a half year project. Two years of pre-production and like four months, three, four months of shooting. So if you do the math, you're looking at nine to ten years. And after each movie, I'm taking like eight months off. So if you could do the math, it, it adds up to about ten years, obviously. So the actors are out of Hollywood for ten years. Hence why they're all praying I do the Matrix. Was a great escape is a one and done. Yeah. You do the movie for two and a half years, you're, I'm done, I knew they're unique, they're now going to they now go like a Hollywood left behind. Okay, so yeah. She was good. With the gravy, yeah. What's your heart telling you? My heart's telling me, to, 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 honestly, to do The Matrix over The Great Escape. Because even though The Great Escape will be the sick movie, it will not be as good as The Matrix. The Matrix will be better, man. You're going to see me as the one kicking ass. I told you, for The Matrix, I have to purchase the rights off Warner Bros. Because they own the brand, right? So I have to purchase the sequel rights. I, I You want to own the whole brand? I'm like, no, I, don't want, I only want to own the sequel rights. And you have to delete Resurrections. That's a deal. Erase it or erase it from Canada. I don't want that movie a part of Canada. The movie was terrible. If I want to make my images for you, you have to delete it. Why? Well, we can't do that. I'm like, yes, you can. You can do it. I'm sorry. 
Oh, I, we spent a lot of money on this. I'm saying, I look, man, the movie, you didn't make any money off this. This movie flopped. Uh. Yeah, it fucking flopped, man. Yeah. I'm more than welcome to do a sale on my website. Like, like, uh, Matrix Resurrection will no longer be available around the world. All Matrix fans, this is your opportunity to buy the, to buy the movie. You can do that for Warner if you want. You know, I can promote it on my site, and all that money goes to you guys. Because you, Matrix 4 is your, is your, um, it's your brand, right? You can do that for Warner Bros. if you want. Oh, I even thank you. Yeah, you, you make a couple hundred million bucks on that, and you delete the movie. You can do that for Warner Bros. if you want. But I wanted a race from Canada. I don't want a part of Canada. That movie was terrible. But if they do Matrix 5, then Matrix is not happening. Because it's now two movies. It won't happen. I'll just do the Grayscale Counter Reaps. So I'm sorry. Yeah. That's why Scarlet and, and Keanu Reeves are praying I do the Grey Escape. Because they want to be in my movie, obviously. Whereas the other guys are praying I do the Major. It's actually funny. <laughs> yeah. I'm full. I'm not going to focus on that right now. Right now, my main focus is Zanus. Zanus is the only reason why I make, I'm starting Skies Entertainment. Entertainment. It's because of Zanus. The best fantasy story of told, man. Masterpiece. Alright, you think, you think Zanus will be better than your Matrix Trilogy? Yes, it will. The Matrix Trilogy is good, but it's not as good as Zanus, man. Zanus is a masterpiece, man. The Great Escape will be a good movie too, but not as good as as uh, as Zanus. Like the Great Escape is an amazing story. It's a good story. It's not like a masterpiece like Zanus, right? Like the Great Escape, I wouldn't call it a masterpiece. It's just, it's just a good, fun movie to watch. Maybe a 7.5, 8 out of 10 movie. Story's pretty good. It's very entertaining. Raw and raw, you can ask. But it's not a masterpiece of a story. Like, Zane's is like a masterpiece. Whereas The Greatest Game is just a fun, like, good movie to watch. I want it to be a good movie. It's a good movie, but it's not Zane's, right? But it's, it'll be a fun movie to watch. I'm like, yeah, guys, I want it. I want, you don't, this, this story doesn't have to be a masterpiece. Just make a good, tell a good story and, and entertain the fans for this movie. We're on the run, kicking ass, and do all these scary guys with masks are, are after us. It's really fucking cool. Some Sarah? Yeah. Food filled me up, man. Yeah. So, what do you guys think? Do you guys prefer I do the Great Escape or the Matrix? It's probably going to be split, right? Some fans, and I'd rather see Ivan kicking ass on the run and seeing him as a one. And, and, and. In the majors, but some people believe, and I'd rather see Ivan as the one. <laughs> yeah, the greatest keep up to think something like Keanu Reeves and um, John Wick. I mean, my other were, were agents, were secret agents. We work for this big organization, and like Ben Affleck is the big boss, and Keanu Reeves is one of the big bosses, and Scarlett Johansson is one of the big bosses, and there's people under them, and yeah. My idea is the movie starts off with a couple in uh, Italy. They're on the run. They get killed by the company. And then Ben Affleck is like, we need more recruits. Uh. He's like, he starts scouting. I'm going to throw in an Easter egg of, of Matrix. You see Keanu Reeves, like, get a search going. You throw in an Easter egg of, of Matrix, you can do that. 
you know, I think we should scout New York. I mean, New York and in, in, in New York and uh, in America and scout another area. And after that, you get the credits, and it says the Great Escape, and you get this like this high shot view of New York with the credits, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Keanu Reeves, Gal Johns, and Ivan comes in. I your crib, yes. And it starts off with me, in uh, uh, me. I'm uh, I'm at some employment center, and, I, and I'm yelling at the uh, tenant. And my sister is like, "Honey, it's okay." You know, I'm like, "No, it's not okay." I'm frustrated. I said, "We haven't, we have we were looking, we, 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 we've been out of the job for a couple months. Like, we're broke. We need money." You know what I'm saying? The the the, the secretary is like, "Sir, relax, calm down." You know what I'm saying, "No, I'm not going to calm down." You know what I'm saying, "It's okay, honey." You know, they look at a sick movie, huh? And my idea is for 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 the um, one look for jobs. It's a sad theme, like Company Man with Ben Affleck. Have you guys seen the movie Company Man with Ben Affleck? Yeah, you get this sad theme. We can't find jobs, and then we meet. We're, 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 we meet. We we go. There's this bar that we that where we go to all the time, and the bartender is like, "Hey, how's the job search? It's not going good." Because we're good friends with the bartender, and 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 Paul Bettany's a recruiter. He happens to be sitting at the table. And he thinks we're good candidates, obviously, and he bribes us with money. I told you the story. I'm like, honey, should we take the job? And I don't know, honey. Like, this is a this is a guy we don't even know. He just handed us a bunch of cash. I think this is I think this might be good too good to be true. But like, honey, like he paid us, he gave us like two thousand dollars. We need, this is enough money to pay our rent. We should take this job. She's like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And after that, we we went to talk it over. She's like, okay, we'll take the job. We call him. We're like, we're in. They transfer us on a plane. And that's where we meet the other recruits. Um, Brie Larson, John Krasinski, and the other couples. I'm going to have like six couples that all get killed. Three couples that get killed in the company. And we were like, what the fuck's going on? Where are the recruits? And they lie. And we eventually find out it's dirty and then we're on the run. And they send all these hitmen after us and we're on the run. We try to get out of Italy. We can't get out of Italy. And we realize the only way to get out of Italy is if we, is if we take down the bosses. And we have to take down the bosses. And that leads to, to, to Keanu Reeves Skull. I'm a, you have a scene where I fight Keanu Reeves. My my scene other fight Skull Johans. Another amazing movie, man. Yeah, but I knew creative. Yes, I'm very creative. I want to have Jonathan Nolan write the script. He he wrote The Dark Knight, so I think he'd be very good. I'm gonna have the Great Escape Rated R. It's a dark movie. Looking at a sick movie, yeah, man. Some Sarah. It will not be as good as Zayn. Zayn's be better, man. It'll be a sick movie, though. It's a fun, entertaining movie, but it's not a masterpiece like Zayn's. Like, The Great Escape, I wouldn't really call it a masterpiece. It's a good story, a fun, entertaining story, like maybe a 7.5 7 out of 10 movie, 8 out of 10 movie, but it's not going to be Zayn's, which is like a 9.8 out of 10. Zayn's is a masterpiece, man. Very unique will not be a masterpiece. It'll be a fun movie to watch, too. The Invar movie might not be the masterpiece. The only movie I think will be a masterpiece will be Xanus. Whereas the other movies are just fun, good movies to watch. But they're not necessarily masterpieces. For a movie to be a masterpiece, the story has to be like so amazing whereby you're like shocked, holy shit, this is so good. Like Lord of the Rings. Whereas there's some other movies are good movies, they're fun and entertaining, but they're not really masterpieces. They're just good, fun movies to watch. Sir? Well, I'll make sure I make a good movie. I want all the movies to be good. Or well, entertain the fans, but... The Grey's Game will not be a masterpiece. It'll be, it'll, be, it'll be a good story. A fun, entertaining story to watch. But The Matrix will be a masterpiece. See, that movie, I can picture the scenes. That will be a masterpiece. The Grey's Escape, not a masterpiece, but it's a good, fun movie to watch. Some Sarah? That's my point. Yeah. <coughs> so, I mean, how freaky will the Great Escape be? You're looking at guys with masks, man. I'll show you what I'm talking about. My idea is the guys, the, the, the hitmen that come out there, they, they wear these masks. Um, you know the movie Black Phone? The guy who kidnaps kids? Yeah, think of a mask like that. Like, you have guys with masks like that. 
and they come after us. Yeah, you're looking at an amazing movie. They wear these masks, but they work for the company. You look at an amazing movie. Yeah, we're on the me and my sister are on the run. It's it's a dark movie. Yeah, my my idea for the director is is Chad. What's his name? Chad something. The guy who directed uh, John Wick. Have him. You can have him be your director for the movie for The Great Escape. And I'll have Jonathan Nolan write the script. I'll pay Jonathan Nolan like 60 million bucks. He doesn't get any royalties. He just gets his flat 60 million. That's it. He's a writer's who are not worth your royalties. He gets his, his, his 60 million dollar check and his 2000 dollars gift card, but he doesn't get a piece of the merch or anything else. So he just gets his check. That's Christopher Nolan's brother, right? Jonathan Nolan, yeah. I'll have him have him co-write it with someone he, he trusts. They can co-write the script. And I tell them my ideas. I take my notes. And he writes the story. And he tells the uh, tells the amazing story. And make sure you give Keanu Reeves, Carl Johansson, and Alfie and all of them. Uh, and Blue Lars all of them a good chunk of scenes. As I'm paying them a lot of money, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Me and my son are the lead. But they're also supporting characters. You have to give them a lot of scenes. Hence why I want the greatest game. Hey, Ivan, how long do you want to I want the movie to be at least three and a half to four hours long. I mean, that's long. Yeah, I want it to be a long movie. That way you give these actors good scenes. Because I know a two-hour movie for, for Ivan and Sinatra is nothing. It's nothing. You need to make like a three-and-a-half-hour, four-hour movie, an amazing movie. All my movies, I want them to be three hours plus. Because I know two hours for an Ivan and Sinatra movie is nothing. It's nothing. It'll go by so fast because I'm so interesting to watch. Me and my Sinatra are so interesting to watch and Sarah. Yeah. But you have to tell John to know your idea for the story. That he has ideas and he has a foundation to write a script. Some Sarah. Yeah. Obviously. I think the Chad guy is the best guy for the for the movie. Because he did John Wick and John Wick Keanu Reeves is on the run. An episode in um in in the third movie, Keanu Reeves is on the run. That's why he's good for the movie. Yeah. The greatest game will be something similar to John Wick, right? Except better, obviously. Because you have these guys with masks, like I showed you. It'll be a bit better. But John Wick is not a masterpiece, but it's a good fun, it's a good fun entertaining movie to watch. 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10 movie, but it's not a masterpiece. But it's a fun entertaining movie to watch. That's my point. The greatest game will be like a fun entertaining movie to watch. But it's not necessarily a masterpiece. I'm picturing this in my mind, it's a good movie, but it's not a masterpiece. Like Zanus, right? Or the Matrix trilogy I'm thinking of. That's my point. Yeah. That's why the Zanus stars are going to beg. They want to be in that greatest game movie so bad. I have not. They're, they're guaranteed going to ask me, I what movie are you doing next? Yeah, I'm thinking of doing a secret agent movie or the Matrix. A secret agent movie? Oh, I'm like, who are you thinking of? Yeah, I'm thinking of Keanu Reeves and Scarlett Johansson. I mean, I'm like, oh, sick, man. Can we be that movie? I'm like, no, guys. You're not good for the movie, man. I'm not going to have the same actors in my movie. You're not good for the movies, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I told you, Ben Affleck... And Paul Bettany and all of them are praying I do the Matrix because they want to be saved for ten years. Whereas the the, the Great Escape is a one and done. After two and a half years, the two the, the two years are gonna go by so fast. We do two years of pre production, first year is writing the script and all that stuff. We fly in the stars, they sign their contracts. Second year is the training, the mat the magazine ad shoots and and the table reads. And then like early third year, we start filming and we film in New York and Italy. That will take, the, the Great Escape will only take maybe three and a half to four months to film. Three and a half months to film, we're done. And we go touring for the movie. We'll go touring for the movie for a couple, for, I don't know, a month and a half. And then, we, and then we do maybe like, The Great Escape will take maybe four or five months to edit. It won't take that long. It's not like Zane's, which will take a year. The Great Escape will take maybe four or five months to edit. And after that, I do the party in Italy and then the journey's over. Don't hate him, son. And all those actors from the Great Escape are going to beg for their ego. But look, you're not good for the romance story. With Cage and Apples and Data and Sarah. Yeah. But I told you, even though like I want to choose Keanu Reeves and Ben Affleck and Sergeant Hanson, all these Hollywood actors are more than welcome to send the reels. I might change my mind. That way you give them a chance, right? You could make some changes, obviously. 
You have other actors like Matt Damon. You can have Matt Damon come and read. You know what I'm saying? He did, uh, um, what's that movie called again? Why am I freezing on the movie? The movie one, he's a, he's on the run. What's that called again? That's how you know I'm stupid, guys. I have, I'm bad at memorizing things. Um, what's that fucking movie called, man? I forget what it's called. I saw all the movies, but I forget what it's called. <laughs> I'll try to find it here. Born, Born Identity. Yeah, Born Identity. Matt Damon is good, too. Yeah, for the movie. Yeah, there's other actors who are good for the movie, yeah. Tom Cruise. You know what I'm saying? These actors are more than welcome to send, the res send in their uh, the reels. But I, I think Keanu Reeves are more the best for the role, but you have other actors compete with him. I'm going to have Keanu Reeves and Gaudron and Blackman come in and read. Though I made sure I chose the right actors. You know what I'm saying? But you can also have other actors in Hollywood, um, bigger aces, read for the part. Like Matt Damon... Tom Cruise, you know what I'm saying? You can have those guys. Tom Cruise did Mission Impossible. He's a secret agent. And, 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 and Matt Damon did Born Identity, the Born Identity series, yeah. The assassin who loses his memory and all that stuff. Remember that? Yeah. Because just because I choose an actor, when I say I choose an actor, I mean that's my first choice, but does, that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be chosen. They're going to have to compete with other actors in Hollywood. All the, all, the, all the Hollywood actors are more than welcome to send in their reels, and whoever's best for the part gets the role, obviously. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah, man. Well, let me be honest here. The Great Escape is most likely the movie I'm going to be doing. Because if they're doing Matrix 5, I'm not going to purchase the rest of the Matrix. <laughs> My sister other would tell me, all right, but let's just do the Great Escape. Like, I don't want to, you, do, you don't want to go through that hassle of all these means of Warner Bros. Just do the Great Escape. We own the brand. Like, there's, there's no point of doing the Matrix. Yeah, you're right. Ch the higher chance of doing the Great Escape over the Matrix, obviously. So I'm, saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. So for the Grey Escape, I talk about things a lot. For the Grey Escape, Keanu Reeves, if he's chosen, I'll pay him. How much is he worth? I think he's worth four hundred plus million dollars, right? He's worth three eighty million dollars. Yeah. So for the Grey Escape, I can pay Keanu Reeves his his twenty million bonus, and then he gets twenty seven million salary for the. Uh, for the four months of shooting. And then in royalties, I'll give him the high end at $125 million for the royalties. And he gets a million five for the uh, merch. He gets his $50,000 um, second year for the ad shoots. And then during filming, he's doing the character ad shoots. He gets 2000 a week. Because he's only grown, he filmed for four months. They're only making like I don't know, like the Zanes are making like a hundred four thousand dollars for Zane for Zanes for the fourth year of production. Because it's a year year of production, whereas the Great Escape is only like four months of production. So the actors are only making like I don't know. They're making eight grand a month. Eight times four is twenty four thousand, right? My math is right. So the Keanu gets $24,000 in money for the, the side uh, ad shoots, the interviews, and the character ad shoots fourth year. Which is good side money for him. He doesn't need the money, but it's good side money for him. And then for the game, I'll pay him like 600 k Because for the greatest game, you don't play as Keanu Reeves. You only play as me and my, and my, uh, and my significant other. Yeah, 24. It's time for 24. They get like twenty four to thirty two thousand dollars in side money for the interviews and and the and the um, 
the character options fourth year for the Great Escape. Obviously. If I told you, I might end up choosing someone else. I might choose Matt Damon, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise was good in that movie. What was that movie called again with Jimmy Fox? Collateral. That was a good fucking movie. Remember, remember Collateral with Tom Cruise and Jimmy Fox? Tom Cruise is that evil, uh, the evil villain in the movie? Yeah. He's chasing Jamie Foxx. That was a good fucking movie. That's Rob Rat's favorite movie, by the way. That's not my favorite movie, but it was a, I saw the movie on Netflix. It was a good fucking movie. That was a good movie, man. Is it Collateral? Oh, yeah, Collateral with Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx. That was a good movie, man. That was really good. Yeah, it's with um, Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx, right? Yeah. That was a good fucking movie, man. Collateral. And Tom Cruise was evil in that movie. That's why he's also good for The Great Escape. But Tom Cruise is more expensive than Keanu Reeves because he's worth more than him. That's the thing about Tom Cruise, I'm saying. There's a lot of other actors who, can, who, are, who are good for the role, obviously. How much is Tom Cruise worth? Yeah, he's worth $600 million. So, for him, I have to pay him more for royalties like 150 160 million 170 million the royalties whatever it is there's exceptions if the guy's worth more than 400 dollars you can pay him a bit more than 125 you can pay him 135 140 150 you know what i'm saying but like don't be stupid like these guys are be wild that's my point and then ben affleck i'll pay him like, i don't know like 23 million salary and he gets like a 50 million bonus. So that's like what, a 38 million deal? Yeah, 38 million deal for him. He gets a million five for the merch. I'll pay him like, I don't know, like 450,000 for the game. Because for the game, you don't play as those actors. They're going to be in the cutscenes. They're only CPU characters. And, they, they, and, and they're CPU characters in the movie, and they're in the cutscenes of, of the game. But you don't play as them. That's why I'm not paying them the millions. For the game. Only if you play as the characters, you get your millions. If you don't play as them, they're not worth the millions for the movie. That's a good paycheck for them. They don't get any royalties for the game either. Don't hang them, son. And then for the royalties, I can give Ben Affleck like $70 million of the royalties. $75 million. That's good enough for him for, for the Great Escape. Some sir. I work with 100. I'm like, no, Ben. I'm not going to pay you 100 million of the royalties. You're fucking greedy, some sir. <coughs> And Scarlett, she's not as big as him. I can pay her twenty million salary. That's good. That's good for her, and I can give her like eleven million and eleven million um, bonus. If you sign a thirty-one million deal, I can give her sixty-one million the royalties for for the movie, obviously. And then she gets a million five for the merch, and she gets like I don't know four hundred grand for the game. I even like why aren't you paying as millions? Like because you're, you're not the, the fans are not playing as you. They play as me as I might say with other. With the Grey Escape, I'm gonna do a thing where you have two two choices. You can either play as me, or you can play as my sim and other. So if you choose to play as my sim and other, I'm a CPU character in the game, but we're playing I'm a CPU character in the game with her. Or you can play with two players with a split screen. Like um a way that a way out game that Rabbit played, you can do a split screen. You can play as two players in the Grey Escape if you want. With a split screen. So one per person plays as my another one person plays me. Or you can play single player. It's up to you. But for the walkthrough for the Grey Escape, I'm going to have Robert do with this. I'll have him play with another guy. The guy who played a way out with him, you can have him play with Rabrat. Pay that guy like $150,000, $180,000. He's not as big as Rabrat. Pay him like $180,000 for the walkthrough that you play, they play as a split screen. And they give the fans a good experience. And they play that amazing game. But yeah, a sick game. We're in New York. We can't find jobs. Well, the game starts off with you. Uh, you you play as a couple in New York. They're on the run. And they end up dying, obviously. And they transfer to the game. When me and my son are in New York. And we're looking for jobs. We do a thing where I get into a fight at the bar. Make the game more interesting. We train at the company that we're on the run. You have all these like amazing car chases. We hide from people. Look at an amazing game, man. Yeah, man. 
That's her grab. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this great escape game. I didn't sign me up, fat. I don't say he's all excited. Yeah, Robert. Yeah, for that game, he gets seven sixty thousand dollars I'll give him $60,000 raises. So, Zanus, he gets 700000 The Great Escape, he gets seven sixty thousand. Right, Brad, and he gets his $2,000 gift card. I have one of our rollies in my ignore, Brad. You're not gaining rollies in the game. You're not worth it. Yeah. And Rad Brad will be my uh, my walkthrough star. That's why I'm, I'm most likely to have Rad Brad feature on a magazine and take a picture of him. You get this news. I'm going to have game news too, but the game news is, is very little detail. Rad Brad is the chosen walkthrough star for Sky Sports Entertainment and he, he does like some magazine ad shoot and he's featured and they interview him. You can pay Rad Brad for the for the magazine shoot. Pay Rad Brad two grand for the magazine shoot. And he gets interviewed and he how's the feel being the being the walkthrough star for the game? Yeah, it feels amazing. I can't wait to play this game. They interview him. Let's like top notch. He's featured on this magazine. This would be cool for the game section. So he's fucking cool, yeah. And John Krasinski, I'll pay him his 16.5 million for the movie. That's good enough for him. And he gets 7 million bonus. I'll give him like 28, 30, 28, 30 million of the royalties. That's a good deal for him. And he gets um, 500k for the merch. And for the game, you pay him like 350k for the game. That's a good deal for him. I have more about like a million. I'm like, no, I'm not going to pay you guys your millions. The fans don't play as you and you're not worth the millions for the movie, for, for the game. Only the Zayn stars are getting the millions because you actually play as them. Will there be online the Great Escape? No, the Great Escape, there'll be no online. There'll be no online. It's just the campaign, that's it. It doesn't make sense to have online for, for a Great Escape game. No, it's just it's just um the campaign mission, that's it. I'm sorry. And Their Unique will be a choice-based game. It's similar to, like, uh, um, Life is Strange, True Colors, and, like, Until Dawn. So picture something like Until Dawn for, the, for, for, for Their Unique, except it's, it's not horror, obviously. You, you make choices that on some. It's a sick game, Their Unique. Their Unique will be a good game, too. Obviously. I'm sorry. That's why those Zayn's actors are going to say, oh, man, can I be in that great escape? I'm like, no, man. You're not good for the movie with Keanu Reeves. I'm like, saying that. They want to be saved, too. It's not I mean, like, those actors are really successful. Fuck those actors. I just retired. I'm like, no, guys. You're not good for the next movie. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do like that. And you're going to go back to Hall being left behind. You deserve. I launch your careers. You're welcome. Yeah, but I mean, my career feels meaningless without you. Even if, even if I'm successful in Hollywood, it feels meaningless, man. My movies are a side tension, I know, but you're going to go back to Hollywood and get what you deserve, man. You're going to be left behind. You get what you deserve, man. Yeah, man. You get what you deserve. I'm sorry? Don't hate what I'm saying. You get what you deserve. Yeah. So I really think the greatest game will be better than Zanus. Yeah, <coughs> the greatest game, game will be better, the better game than Zanus, obviously. Because <coughs> fantasy game, the truth is, fantasy games are good, but they're not as good as like secret agent games, right? The secret agent games are more entertaining. You can relate to it more. Be like, you know, you know the Hitman games, how entertaining they are, Ugh. and like, and like Tomb Raider. Those games are fucking amazing. The more, I like those games more than Lord of the Rings games. And Assassin's Creed. The Zayn's movie will beat the, the greatest game movie, but the game, the greatest game, will be better. Because you're actually going to see me and my other in the modern times in New York. Where Zayn is, it's fantasy world. Fantasy games are good, but they're not, they are not. They don't tend to be the best games. Hence why the greatest game will be better. The campaign will be better. But, like, the online thing for Zanes will be fucking fun. Playing against people around the world online, that's fucking fun. Like, one-on-one, -on -one, like, Air Attack versus Tactics. It looks like we top notch for that. It'll be close, but the greatest game will top it. It will top it, obviously. But the Zanes game will be an amazing game, too. 
I'm putting Unreal Engine 5 technology into all my games. Into the Zanes game. I'm going to tell you guys I want Unreal Engine 5 in, in the game. Obviously. Why, why are you putting more money towards your your Great Escape game than your Zane Escape? Because the Great Escape is in the modern times. You see what I'm saying? And I'm putting, I'm funding Zane's for money. That's why I'm making it for last the game. Because I already put a billion three towards the movie. So I'm going to put four systems into this game. With the Great Escape, I'll make it for 500 million in the game. Where you get like a revolutionization of technology with the game. Look at an amazing game. That's why Robert will be so excited to play the game. I can't wait for that. Those ain't going crazy. Yeah. Now the greatest thing here, I might play that with my sim another. Hey, you want to play the game together? We play like together. Yeah, sure. Let's play the game. We play the game together. <laughs> I'll watch Rabbi's walkthroughs first, and I'll play the game with my sim another at home on a split screen. I play as me, she plays as her. We play the game. We beat the game. I have a blast playing the game. Yeah, look at an amazing game for that. Yeah, man. My company's gonna blow out of the water. Blow it out of the water. They're gonna ask me, Ivan, do you want it to be like Hitman? I'm like, no. Hitman is not story based. In Hitman, you just do missions. Yes, me and my son do missions in the, in the game, but I don't want it like Hitman. It's story driven and everything, but we do missions, a lot of missions in the game. And and, and 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 but it's not like Hitman guys. I don't want it like Hitman. Some similarities off. You get some ideas off it, but I don't want it to be like Hitman where you just do missions and that's it. There's no really story there. I want it to be a story, but you also have missions. Some Sarah. Tell the the, the, the game developers out the way they know. You're a great escape game. And that movie will have crazy buzz. I'm gonna go world touring for that too. Not as crazy as Zane's, but the buzz of that would be crazy, too. The, the whole was one crazy, man. And I go on the world tour for the Great Escape, too. Obviously. I go touring with Keanu Reeves, Carl Johansson, Benavik, and all them. Paul Bettany, you know what I'm saying? Paul Bettany, I'll pay him his... His 10. That's good enough for him. And I'll give him, like, 11 million of the role. He's has a $21 million deal for him. That's good for him. And he gets 500k for the merch. And he gets, um, like, 300k for the game. And then Brie Larson, I'll sign her to the same deal. She gets 10 million, and she gets 11 million in the role. That's 21 million deal is a lot of money for her, obviously. But I'm paying you in Canadian, so you're making even less. But you're, you're, that's more than what you're making in Hollywood. So I'm saying? That's my point, yeah. <laughs> Some of them might be pissed off about, about the rates. My look, man, if you're not happy with this contract... I don't want to live in your filthy country. You know what I'm saying? I don't hate you. If you're not happy with this contract, you're more than welcome to go back to Hollywood and be left behind. Like, I offer I have still, yeah. I'm not living in your filthy country. I want to live in Canada. I don't want to live in your cursed country. I want to live in the, in the Holy North. I don't hate you. Know I don't want to live in the States. I want my company to be a Canadian based company. If you don't like it, you're more than welcome to work in Hollywood and be left behind. I'm not, I, I, I'm not, it's a deal, yeah. So I don't hate you. Know yeah. Walking away with millions, of, I don't know, like eight million in your bank with your contract. That's a lot of money for for, for a smaller ace or actor, small smaller ace or actor. Yeah. So there's a hierarchy. Yeah. The the, the bigger acers are walking away with tens of millions in their bank, like 25, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 million in their bank after taxes and their agent around there. And the smaller ones are walking away with like. Like 8 million, 6 million, 7 million, 10 million, 11, 12 million, 13 million, 14 million. So I'm saying the smaller acers. Was the bigger ones walk away with the, the tens of millions in their bank? At least 20 plus million in their bank, right? 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, 60 million, 70 million in their bank after taxes with their bonuses and their, and their, and their, and their royalties and their merch. So I'm saying. But the agents take 10% of that, right? And they're so making the agents. That's why the agents who represent the bigger A's actors are going to be the greediest, obviously, because they want more money in their bank. They're greedy pigs. And I, what about one, like, what about 180 for Keanu Reeves? I'm like, no, I'm not paying Keanu Reeves out. He's not worth that for my movie. Why? Well, I mean, he's big. Yeah, look, man, he may be big in Hollywood, but he's not me. 
He's small compared to me. That's why I'm not paying him more than that. That's good enough. If you don't like it, you are more than welcome to work in Hollow and uh, be left behind. What am I offering? I keep saying that, man. I mean, it's a deal. Yes, it's a fucking deal. Yeah. Yeah, was, I mean, that's a good deal for me. I don't even make this in Hollywood. Yeah. But except for the majors. The majors can and he's made it is two hundred plus million dollars for the majors, which I think they overpaid him for that. But for my movie, he's not going to get two hundred dollars. He's not worth it for my movie. One twenty five million dollars is 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 a, is a good deal for him for the for the royalties. That's good enough. Some I don't hate him saying, yeah, that's good enough. Yeah. Some Sarah. Well, what are you thinking of for your merch for, for The Great Escape? Um, I'll sell hot toys. Like, you have the hot toy of me, Keanu Reeves, Ben Affleck, Scarlett Johansson, my seven other, John Krasinski, Brie Larson, Paul Betty, and all them. Happy Barnum, a nice hot toy, with, like secret agent with a soup, some of that. And I'll have posters, framed and paper ones. I'll sell, like, uh, six. All my movies, I'm going to sell six posters. I'll sell, like, six posters. And it comes with like coffee mugs with the with the Great Escape um, pictures on it. Not L mugs, like coffee mugs. It comes with coffee mugs with the pictures on it. And then for the clothing, you can sell like T-shirts and sweaters, that kind of stuff with the Great Escape logo on it. That you can sell like toy guns and that's that kind of stuff for the uh, for the movie. That's good enough for the movie. More simple. Where Zay is, I'm not selling t-shirts and and, and, and and swears. No, I'm selling like the custom-made clothing that the actors wear in the movie. Something cool. That's why the Zane's brown will be bigger than the Gracie brown. Because there's, you, got, you have cooler stuff to buy. But the merch for the Gracie will still be pretty cool, obviously. Some Sire. Coming at 8 o'clock, guys. Almost done, guys. I'll talk for an hour and I'm I'm done. I thought it'd be cool to talk about the greatest game. I talk about Zane's all the time, right? My main focus is Zane. Zane's is my first movie. Then I'm gonna do the greatest game after that, or the majors, but it's most likely the greatest game with Keanu Reeves and Lawrence Zane, or uh, who, perhaps Tom Cruise, Matt Damon. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see who I like the best when they read for the part, but we'll see what happens. Obviously, Zane. So you're going to have other actors read, of course. Keanu Reeves, I'm going to have him read. I'm going to have Scarlett Johansson read. And I'm going to have uh, uh, Ben Affleck read. But I'm going to have other actors send in the reels too. That way you give other actors an opportunity in Hollywood. It's not 100% guaranteed they're chosen. They have to compete, man. That's how it works. That's why they're all going to be competing so hard. You're going to see Keanu Reeves competing hard. Ben Affleck, Scott Johansson, and Pete Hart because they want that job so bad. That, yeah, I, mean, I want out of Hollywood. I'd rather work for Ryan than work in fucking Hollywood. Yeah, they're going to compete hard for the job. I'm sorry. Matt Damon, Tom Cruise are going to compete hard for the job. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. What about the Beatles actors? I would, I'm gonna, yeah. So for the couples for the Great Escape, I'll have two smaller A's actors. So I'm gonna have there's eight couples. There's me, my sibling, the other, and there's three more couples. So John Krasinski and Brie Larson, or someone else, if I choose someone else, they're the two smaller A's And the other two couples, I'm gonna have B-list actors. That way you balance out your your cap for your movie. That way you give B-list actors an opportunity to have a, a supporting role in your movie. So the four. Couples, I'm gonna cast B list actors for that because they're cheaper. You pay them like two, two point five, don't hang them, send two, two point five, three million, three point five, four million for the movie. They don't get royalties and they get their two fifty thousand dollar merch, which is <coughs> which is um which is good enough for a B's actor. All right, what about Tamil? I'm like, look, man, if you think I want to pay a B's actor ten million dollars, you gotta become they're not worth that, man. Two point five million dollars, three million, three point five is good for a beast actor. In Hollywood, you make like eight hundred grand for your shows. Some Sarah, it's a good deal. You know what I'm saying, 
Why wow, you're paying like you're paying like Keanu Reeves and all of them or like Matt Damon and Tom Cruise all these hundreds of millions, all these millions. Yeah, because they're bigger aces and they're much bigger than you. You're not a you're not a bigger ace actor. I'm not gonna pay you what I'm paying them. You get paid for what you're worth as well, man. I'm not gonna pay you ten million if you're a big actor. You rip me off, man. They're not worth that, man. They're they're television stars. Like they're pretty big, obviously, but they're not A-listers. You don't see them on the big screen. And so they're not worth $10 million. Or so agents might try and push for like 12 million. I'm like, you guys are crazy. I'm not going to pay you that. I don't have enough money to pay you that, first of all. You're affecting my budget. And you're not worth that. You're worth, you're like 2, 2.5. You know what I'm saying? I don't hate him. I'm saying 3, 3, 3.5. That's good enough. Well, I have more about royalties. I'm like, no, they don't get royalties. Only for Zayn is the actor. All the actors get royalties. Zayn is a special story. And I want them to work extra hard for me. But for all my other movies, the rule is b listers don't get shit. They don't get royalties for my movie. Only the bigger a listers and, and the smaller a listers get royalties. So I'm saying the smaller a listers get royalties with a smaller amount, anywhere from six to twenty five million, but they don't get like the royalties that the bigger ones get. That's my payment structure for my company. So I'm saying. Yeah, and even what they're making is pocket using ground between my other making. <laughs> Even if Keanu Reeves gets one twenty-five million, Matt Damon gets how much is Matt Damon worth? Let me check here. He's worth, I think, like, like I don't know, like two hundred million, something like that. One fifty million. He's only worth fifty-five million. He's only worth fifty five million. Holy shit! So Matt Damon is a smaller A lister. He's a smaller A lister, Matt Damon. Yeah, he's cheaper. So he's worth fifty five million. So he he gets less, obviously. He's I thought he was worth like a hundred million. He's only worth fifty five million. Holy shit! I thought he was worth more. I might be wrong. I don't know. So he'll make less, obviously. You can pay him twenty-five million royalties, and he gets like a, I don't know, like a twelve million salary, and, and, and but he doesn't get a bonus because he's not as big as. But this might be wrong. It says fifty-five million here, but I mean, whereas Tom Cruise is big, man. He's worth six hundred million, man. Holy shit. Yeah, he's worth fifty five million. So he's a smaller Aster. Oh, he's cheaper than Ben Affleck and all of them, right? Yeah. Yeah, only the Asters get royalties. The other guys don't get royalties. The rising stars don't get royalties either. The rising stars are rare. It's pretty much B listers and A listers in Hollywood. That's how it works. You have B listers and you have A listers. A listers are the ones who you see doing pretty much movies. Billy's are the ones <coughs> you don't see on the big screen. They, they do independent movies and television. Or minor roles in the budget movie because they don't have the best agents, obviously. The best representation. That's how I see it. You have B-listers and you have A-listers. Well, I mean, I'm an A's actor. Look, man, if you do television, you're not an A's actor. There's exceptions, obviously. Some There, is, there are some, a, some A-list television stars, obviously. But most of them are B-listers. Who, um... Who are worth like two, two point five, three, three point five, four for your movie, four point five maybe, and that's it. They're not worth any more than that. And they don't make that in Hollywood. They make like eight hundred k, five hundred k for their shows in Hollywood. So it's a good deal for them. I'm sorry. Yeah. Still a massive contract, right? So all yeah, all my movies I'm gonna give B listers like I'm gonna have a good maybe three. At least three to four spots open for at least two to four spots open for biggest actors. That way, you give biggest actors who do television op an opportunity to be in your movie too. I'm not just gonna have biggest actors. You have to balance it. You have to watch out for your budget. You have to balance it with biggest who are much cheaper. And then the minor roles, you can have biggest be minor roles too. Most of my minor roles are gonna be biggest actors. You pay them a good 150, 250, 350. 400, 500, even 600K for a pretty minor role. That's a good...
paycheck for a minor role for a movie for being this actor, right? Like the bartender for the Great Escape, you can pay that actor two fifty thousand. He's a minor character, having to be a this actor in Hollywood. That's good side money for a biggest actor. That's good paycheck for him. But if you're a minor role, you don't get. You're not featured on the posters. You're not featured in that stuff, so you don't get royalties. You just get your salary. And two thousand here for that's it. Only the the major stars, supporting heroes, get featured on the magazines. And the and the and the and the and the interviews. The minor characters will not get interviewed. Only the main the major stars. They'll be announced, obviously. All the actors will be announced. But for the interviews and everything, I'm only interviewing the main stars for the movie. And only the main stars are featured in the magazines and on the posters. Hence why the, the, the minor characters don't get shit. They just get their flat salary, two thousand dollar gift card. And then for the game, you can pay them like fifty K for the game. They get money for the game, they'll be in the game. But they're not making it as much because they're minor characters. That's how it works, man. Oh, okay, I'm saying, yeah. But the Great Escape won't do as much as Zane because I'm pricing it for like I don't know, like fifty nine, like sixty bucks. It's cheaper. It's only one movie. I'm not selling the Great Escape in a box set. No, it's one, one like four K Blu-ray movie. And I'll price it at to make good profit. I'll price it at like fifty nine ninety nine. 60 bucks, which is a bit pricey for one movie, but I mean, it's a good deal for you guys. $39.99 for the movie. <coughs> so, me and myself are making less. Maybe $5 billion for The Great Escape, and that's it. We make for The Great Escape. Whereas Zane is for making like 8 maybe 9 maybe 10 The Great Escape, we make maybe $5 billion, $4.8 billion for the movie. That's why I'm not making this for as much money. For as much money. The Great Escape, I make for about 6 70 to like 700 million dollars for the budget of the movies I'm saying yeah and all the whole rackers are welcome to send the reels and whoever's chosen is chosen whoever's not I'm sorry about that the lucky night in Hollywood yeah I know what I'm saying yeah why why'd you say Keanu is my chosen what I mean by that is they're my first choice but if other actors Saying the reels, I like them more. I'm choosing them over the other over, over the other guys. I'm sorry. That's how it works, man. You have to send in your reels. Yeah, man. You have to send in your reels. Almost done here, guys. All the Hollywood actors will be begging Keanu Reeves and all of them for word two. Once I do the once I do the Great Escape, you get the cast announcement. I choose Keanu Reeves and all of them. And all the Hollywood actors are now begging Keanu Reeves and all of them for word, but they're not going to get word because they're selfish too. I'm not giving you word. If I ask you, if I ask you for word, you wouldn't give me word either. Yeah, they're not going to get word then. They're selfish, man. Yeah, they're all selfish. Those Hollywood actors. None of them are going to give word because they're selfish. This has been crazy. All my movies are looking at crazy network, man. It's been crazy, man. Something fucking crazy, huh? Harry Ann Moss will network with Keanu Reeves. Lawrence Fishburne will, will network with Keanu Reeves. You know what I'm saying? Matt Damon will network with Ben Affleck if he's chosen, right? All the Marvel actors are going to network with Scarlett Johansson. If she's not going to give a word, yeah, I'm not giving you a word. If I ask you a word, you're not going to give a word. You wouldn't give a word either, yeah. She doesn't want those actors being in their unique because they're selfish, obviously. They don't want them to be like, like them, yeah. They're all selfish. It's actually funny. Yeah. I'm Sarah? But Keanu Reeves will be older. <coughs> He'll be in his early 70s, mid 70s when he does when he films a Great Escape. 75 around there. He'll be he'll still be fine though. But you might tell me. <coughs> like, yeah, I mean my body's done. I can't do what I used to do when I did John Wick and the Majors. I'm I'm like 30 plus years older. I'm 
Yeah, don't worry. I'll have a good nutrition diet for you, a good workout diet for you. That way, you're you're healthier and you have energy. But he, Keanu Reeves will be able to, to will be fine. Liam Neeson's in his seventies. He's still doing all these kick-ass movies. Keanu Reeves will be fine. But you have to have a good like workout diet plan for him, a diet plan for him, and a good workout plan for him. Because now he's a bit older. He'll have a lot of fight scenes. I'll have him be like badass with a gun. That way it's easier on his body. But I mean, he'll be fine. I mean, I'm fine. I just can't do the stuff I used to do when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? But all these guys will be older. Ben Affleck will be in his 60s. He'll be a bit older. He's fine in his 60s. And Scarlett Johansson will be in her 50s when she does a great escape. They're all older now, yeah. And I remember her when she was in her 20s. When she did that Island movie with Ian McGregor. She was like in her 20s back then. That was like her first really big movie. The Island with, uh, with the Island. She wasn't really big back then. Yeah, the Island with Ian McGregor, that got her, that, that's, Marvel's what made her big, man. Before that, she wasn't that big of an actor. She was in The Prestige, The Prestige, obviously, she was, she was in that movie. She did the Island movie with Ian McGregor. And then once she did, um, Iron Man, that's what made her big. Marvel's what made launch her career, man. That's what made her big. And now she's a big actor, obviously. A big ace actor. Some center. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. This is something crazy for now. We're getting Gavin in Hollywood. Something crazy. Keanu, please. <laughs> he doesn't give a word. Don't worry about it. I'll give a word about you. He doesn't give a word. Ben, please. He doesn't give a word either. Yeah, they're all selfish, man. Paul, please. You know what I'm saying? Bree, please. I'm saying they, they don't give a word. They're all selfish. John, please. John Gazzini, right? Yeah, they don't give a word. They're, they're all selfish, yeah. It's actually funny. But Matt Damon's good too. Neither can be with Keanu Reeves and Ben, and ben Affleck. Tom Cruise is, is good too, but he's expensive. He's worth six hundred million dollars. He's in demand. I'll pay him his fifty million. If Tom Cruise is chosen, I'll pay him his fifty million for the movie. Thirty million and twenty point nine million bonus. And you can give him like a hundred, I don't know, like sixty million of the royalty. That's good too good deal for him. He doesn't make that in Hollywood. It's a good deal for him, some center. If I choose it, but I'm most likely gonna choose those three. But I'm gonna have other guys compete with them. The way you give other actors an opportunity in Hollywood, right? You have to give actors an Hollywood an opportunity, and I'll have four spots open for a supporting major role for B-list actors. And the B-list actors, two women, two men, and all the B-list actors are gonna be sending in the reels. And whoever's chosen is lucky. Whoever's not chosen, I'm sorry, you're left behind Hollywood, and you're not safe. Don't hang yourself down. Since there. Because you need to give B listers opportunities too. It's not just about the A listers. Even though the A listers are more important, obviously, because they, they build more buzz for movies, even though no one cares about these actors, you need B list actors in there to give them an opportunity to be in your movie too. It's not just about the A listers. You have to give B list actors an opportunity too to be in your movie. The A listers, if I have all of them A listers, they're going to be affecting my budget. You have to balance it. With Have the majority of them be A listers and you balance it with maybe three. Three, four B is that way you have balance with your salary budget, man. That way you don't you don't go over budget. Cause I don't feel like taking out more money. Like uh, you have you set you set an amount for your movie. You have to you have to be in line with your budget. It's important that you do that, right? That's why I most likely make the greatest eight for seven hundred. Though I have more room to pay the the, the B listers, and the more A is the A is more money. Obviously. You also have to pay your crewmen. You also have to pay your team. Your team has to get paid too, right? You have to pay your team, yeah. That's why you have to make sure you have enough money, obviously. But for the great escape, I'm only going to have maybe 400, 500 crewmen for that. It's not as it's not as big of a project as Zanus. So you can afford to pay all those guys at 150K and their 220, 250K, the supervisors. 
know what I'm saying? And you have, you have, uh, make sure you have budget to pay the actors, the stars, their salary, obviously. So I'm saying, huh? I already know your shit. That's not my shit. So I'm saying, huh? Yeah. You see, all the Zayden stars are now successful in Hollywood. They're doing their big, but they're, 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 they're small budget, big budget. They're, they're, they're doing their, um, Small blockbuster, big budget movie, right? John Maega, John, you see John Maega and like Jimo Hunter, they do this. Um, it's guaranteed Hollywood's gonna do a thing where they put some of the Zayn stars in the same movie to build buzz because they're the Zaynus. You have this Zaynus family thing going on. They might do that to, to build more buzz for the for the movie. But I told you, even if they're successful and they do a 100, 200 million budget movie, the movies are still as high attention because they're now world famous. They can now sell their movies better now. Like, John Mayega does a $80 million, $80 million budget movie. His movie does $450 million. It's a hit. But his, his movie is still a side attention. The Great Escape is the main event. He still feels like shit. He, he can now bargain for his $10 million Hollywood. Eight, nine, ten million Hollywood. He's, he's, he's an A-lister now. $7 million Hollywood. He's doing good for himself. But he still feels like shit. Because his movie is a side attention. Oh, man, I wish I could be in that Great Escape. But I miss guys' entertainment. They all feel like shit those days. Because, yeah. And now uh, the Great Escape is going on, yeah, for, for for the movie, yeah. Obviously, but one thing I'll be happy about after Zanius is done, I never have to film for one year ever again because filming for one year was dirty work. I'm never doing a movie like that ever again. I'm gonna tell myself, look, man, I am never doing a fantasy movie ever again after Zanius. I never want to film for one year again. That's too fucking stressing, man. It's dirty ass work. I am never doing that again. All my movies after that are all two, three, four months of shooting and we're done. We're done. Four or five months of post-production and then we go world touring and then the journey ends on the suit. So I'm saying, huh? That's why that greatest movie will be a mass will be, sorry. That's why that greatest movie will be an amazing movie too. Obviously. Those three are most likely chosen by. I might end up changing my mind. I might end up choosing Tom Cruise, maybe Matt Damon. Upset. Um, other actors in the movie. So I'm saying, we'll see what happens. Obviously, I'm not even saying. Anyways, it was real. I'm I'm saying, please hope you guys enjoy this show. I'll call it talking about the Gray Escape. This is Ivan I'm signing out. Peace, guys. Bye. I hope you guys enjoy this show. Take care, guys. Don't hate me, son.